YouTube, I'm Aymon, and welcome back to one of my landscaping videos. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a new addition to our various sets of tools, and that is the Seymour One-Eyed Hoe. And uh, I don't know why they call it One-Eyed Hoe, maybe because it has one hole, instead of having it with a sort of handle. But I guess like, I guess that is a classification because a pickaxe or an axe have sort of a one-eye. But let's see, because right here, we actually have a handle. This handle is 54 inches long. Um, here's a size comparison. And I'm about like five feet, so that means it's around six inches shorter than me. And the way it goes on is the short, the short end of the bottom to orient with the flat end, with the, with the um, towards the flat end. So it goes on from the bottom, and I'm guessing because the when you look at the hole, it sort of tapers outwards. It goes in the wider end first, so you, you can see the holes are bigger on one end. So the bigger end goes in first. And let me just make sure I have it right. Okay. The flat, the flat end is supposed to be on the side of the blade. And after that, I'm supposing you could stand on it and hit it, or you could put it on the ground, like right here. Take a tool or a hammer like this and knock it. This is my first time trying it, so uh, I might do it wrong. I'm so. I think that you should probably do it closer to the handle instead of farther so you don't bend it. So let's try it. Alright so my dad said that if you just knock it down to the ground then the blade will go down naturally. Uh, I can't demonstrate that now because I already uh, hammered it in but that's what it's supposed to do. So this is what it looks like. It's sort of similar to how the pickaxe looks like where the top of the shaft is a bit jutting out and I guess it's held in by uh, friction. Now if you want, you can also put a shim in here, right here. Uh, that's why it has the flat end of the shaft in order to tighten it. Uh, sort of like what they do with a axe. You know, they insert a wedge in order to keep the, ha the handle secure. I mean, the blade secure. Now the reason we got the Seymour hoe is because uh, we actually want to break roots right here. We're clearing out some roots here so that we can level the ground. And with a regular hoe right here, we actually have a ton of hoes right here. But this one, if we try, I'm gonna mess up the holding of it, and I guess a lot of people might get might complain. But it's not it's not heavy enough to break through. Now with a pickaxe, maybe that could. I could probably, that could almost definitely break through the roots now. I'm trying with the sharp end. <laughs> Not that strong. But maybe with the flat end, it'll work. Gotta make sure I avoid that sharp end. So as for the uh, pickaxe, it's a bit too shallow and it's really thin, so it doesn't cover that much area. Also, it takes a lot of effort. Um, and lastly, most importantly, you have, to, you have to bend down in order to use it. For a hole right there, you just have to stay upright. Now, the hole right here is very similar to what my dad used to use when he grew up. And the tool he used was called a chunko, and it was sort of like this, but it was a bit longer, and the blade was a bit more wider. So with the Seymour hoe, I might mess up the holding of it, like always, but... Much better at breaking the roots. 
and it takes much less effort to use than a pickaxe. And it's definitely better than using a light tool like that. The Seymour hoe is very different from the other tools. It you don't have to bend while using it. I mean, you could bend while using it. It also just takes less effort to use. Uh, like, instead of the pickaxe, this is much more light to use. But it does take away a lot of air, uh, dirt. And according to my dad, who has studied like human engineering and ergonomics, this tool is very good for you because it creates less stress on your back. And I might be using this tool wrong, actually. But I definitely like it. It's really, really powerful. But if you get used to it, then it doesn't seem to be as hard. You could always use a shovel, like I have right here to break the roots, but I'm not good at using a shovel, I don't really have the strength to do it, and I don't think it has enough penetrating power to go deep, uh, unlike with the uh, Seymour hull, it can actually cover a lot more area in less time, and it also takes uh, less effort to use. With this one, I just can't use it. Now, if you look at the uh, quality of the handle itself. So the handle uh, is separate from the uh, hoe blade. It looks like it has some sort of uh, varnish or polyurethane on it that should help it with weathering. We don't know exactly how, much, how long it's going to last. It might split in the future. Uh, the jury's still out on the handle. Uh, and as you can see on the uh, old tools that we have, they're quite uh, ragged or worn down because of years of use. We actually had these for around 10 years, uh, but my dad always just sands them down and puts uh, varnish or uh, linseed oil on them, so they've lasted a long time. But you know, my dad always likes to leave the tools out to see how long they last because to him, that's quality. If they long last, if they last long, uh, do, the, do all the weather and uh, environmental factors, that means they're good. So as for the quality of the handle, the jury's still out on that, but as for the weight itself, definitely really good quality. Alright, so talking about the blade itself, looks like it's pretty sharp and it has a nice taper uh, unlike, as opposed to the hoe right here which doesn't seem to have a taper here. Uh, really good quality, uh, really nice steel. Uh, the quality of the steel is really good and um, according, according to my dad, in, uh, in Malaysia the chunk hole is actually ha has a thicker blade but I guess this is a nice, uh, nice thin thickness. And uh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that on the back, there's actually a hole we can put in a screw or a nail. <laughs> so uh, if you want to secure it, then I guess that's where you can put the nail. But uh, definitely good quality blade. Unfortunately, you won't find a Seymour hoe or the handle at Lowe's or Home Depot. We actually bought this off of Amazon. Uh, the hoe and the handle come separately. They're $20 each. So in total, this is around uh, $40. Uh, you might find it at a local hardware store. So if you want to find one, then you might as well check it out. But we found this off of Amazon. I'll list the link down in the description below. And uh, I guess that's it. Right, so I'm Ayman, and I just reviewed the same or one-eyed hole, or hoe, or as my dad likes to call it, the uh, tongue hole. And uh, in my opinion, pretty good quality. Uh, I mean, except for the hoe, uh, the handle. We don't know yet. The jury's still out on that. But uh, pretty good quality. So uh, I'll see you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe to other videos on I and Ayman, especially the tour reviews and the landscaping videos. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Signing out.